Hello, welcome to pollution part 2. We continue with uh, air pollution. We are looking at pollutants of uh, the air. So uh, we have carbon dioxide now, CO2 formula. Source, in uh, source of carbon dioxide now is complete, not incomplete. Complete combustion of fuel, fuel uh, like petrol and charcoal, the one we use. So effects depletes the ozone layer, leading to global warming. It also causes acidic rain. Okay, global warming, that is the general rise in the, the temperature, uh, atmospheric temperature, due to uh, excessive heat coming from uh, ultraviolet rays, okay, the sun. So solution. Massive afforestation, you should plant a lot of trees. Then oxides of nitrogen, source, combustion of fuels in car exhaust. Oxides of nitrogen uh, found in car exhaust gases. So if you see a vehicle smoking, okay, you should know that there are oxides of nitrogen being uh, produced. Effects, compound of nitrogen from uh, form cumulative poison in tissues of living things. So this, uh, 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 the, 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 the compounds of nitrogen, they will poison your living tissues. Nitrogen combines with oxygen uh, at high temperatures in cylinders of car engine to form nitrogen monoxide, which is very poisonous. Nitrogen monoxide damages the lungs and it irritates your eyes. So this looks to be more biology than science, but this is the same information you applied, you write the same answers, okay? So this is where uh, biology and the chemistry, they have now uh, met, okay? So they are all sciences, so don't feel shy to write these answers in uh, chemistry or in biology. So lead compounds, so it's combustion of fuels in car exhaust. So lead compounds are found in car exhaust gases, lead compounds. So effects, when lead PB is taken into the body, it may settle and be stored in the bones. So it will be stored in your bones and the membranes of the brain. So this leads to damage of the bones, the brain, and the nervous system. So it's very dangerous, okay, quantities of uh, lead in the blood, uh, as low as 100 micrograms per cubic decimeter can cause children to have low intelligence, poor memories, and less muscular coordination in children who do not carry uh, that burden of lead. So it's very, very dangerous. So you find the, uh, this lead pollution is, uh, is, is there in Kawa because of those uh, dumps, okay? Uh, those the mine dumps that are that are along the road. So you find that uh, children there they have got learning difficulties. Okay, they are they can't keep information in their uh, uh, heads. But I'm not saying it's everyone in Kabwe. I'm saying if uh, by chance someone is pregnant, okay, and he has access to lead, you find that you have slow learners. You have people with it low intelligence they can't keep information okay always the memory is full so it's important that we understand this pollution and help in keeping this pollution because the side effects are very grave as you can see you have a child who cannot uh, 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 keep anything uh, it cannot be taught and teachable Okay, we'll be wasting your resources. Okay, so petrol contains about 0 0.5 grams per cubic deciliter to one uh, lead. The poisoning is an example of global poisoning. So this is considered globally as a global poisoning because most countries, they are against this kind of uh, pollution. Solution, lead tetrahethyl is added to petrol as inhibitor to prevent knocking in the car engine. So the same lead can make the, the engine of the car to knock. Okay. 
Then the last one we have what we call ozone. So ozone is O3. O2 is oxygen. So when you add the three there, you write three is ozone now. So source uh, photochemical smog. Photochemical smog is the source. Effects at ground level, ozone is an eye irritant, uh, causes breathing problems and damages plants. So ozone's, uh, ozone loss uh, causes skin cancers and cataracts and the crop damage and the skin disease and eye damage. So general solution to problems of pollution. So they will ask you a question on how you can address uh, pollution as it, it, in general. So these are the answers. Recycling, recycling of waste products like plastics. You can collect plastics to separate them. You make other products like the same plastic chairs, okay? You can also make plastic bags from old old rather than producing new ones. Then setting up uh, protection standards. This involves the um, limiting and banning manufacture of uh, and handling of certain products that are source of pollution. Developing uh, engines that use fuel which pollute less and use catalytic converters. These catalytic converters in the engine of the car will convert these harmful substances into harmless substances like converting it to carbon dioxide and water. Then uh, settling up of advising boards to monitor pollution, such boards will do advise and give assistance to disposal of pollutants. I know the handwriting is very bad, but follow the whole deal. Uh, that's why I'm reading through. Then you note know, fossil fuel must be uh, fossil fuel must be conserved because they are limited and non-renewable energy sources. So this is the end of pollution. Thank you for your attention.